So in the last video, we got this thing mounted up and it's officially a turbo rotary mini bike. So in this video, we need to like actually make it work. You know, doing this is pretty easy. The hard part is actually making everything run properly. So our plan is we are doing a draw through setup with this 22 millimeter Makuni carburetor from Go Power Sports. And we're gonna try to go super simple. The flanges are very similar between this and this input on the turbo. So what we're gonna do is just clock this ever so slightly so this is horizontal and just bolt the Makuni directly to the turbo. And if this kind of works and seals up, then what we'll do is we'll make basically an intake runner that goes down here, under, and then to our um, intake on the motor. But let's get this turbo clocked. Okay, so sadly we cannot have a wastegate because when we have the Makuni on here, it hits right there and we just, you know, it's not gonna work. <laughs> so basically, we just have the wastegate still on here so it will um, kind of be the spring that holds the wastegate closed. Now our Makuni fits and it's pretty much level. Does it fit? Yes. Good. <laughs> cool. Okay, so we had to bore out the Makuni holes a little bit but it should bolt up right up to our turbo. If we are a little worried that the very top might not be sealed with the gasket. So we will have to see and kind of check if we have any uh, like leaks through there. But this is basically the smallest package we can get. It's pretty nice. All right, y'all. So it's a little bit invasive, <laughs> but it looks cool. So we got the Makuni filter on. So now what we're gonna do is, all we know is that we need to connect this and our port over here. So what we're gonna do is take off the carb over here and kind of see how we can get it looped around. It's gonna be tough. Mm -hmm. All right y'all, so hopefully this is the last time the carb comes off. Look at how small that is. That's like my fingernail. What? All right, well now time to the drawing board and see how we're gonna get pressure through that. Okay, so we got our Makuni throttle in, of course, from Go Power Sports. So we'll get this kind of bolted up, we'll get this kind of zip tied out of the way. Then we'll be on to our intake. Okay, so this intake runner is actually really nice from Saks. Um, it's got a nice step down, it's smooth, and it you know would be better than us putting like a large pipe going into this tiny hole. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, you know, used to go like that. Just flip it around and it fits pretty much perfectly. And then we'll just have to make a custom flange. But after we make that flange, that's really all the hard, you know, fabrication we have to do. Yeah, because I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a flange. And then we're gonna have this hose. Yeah. Boost hose. And then that's gonna go all the way over there. And yeah. then we're done. flange and we need it to line up with this hole you know just like that so just took a piece of tape kind of rubbed around to get the marking of this in relation to the holes and yeah just need to drill a big old hole So we'll get this thing cooled off and this is our final piece of the puzzle. All right, so we have some Yama Bond here. It's just like a high temp gasket maker, but it's worked well for us in the past. So just do a little bit on the, each of the like high pressure side of the turbo and should help. No vacuum leaks here. No. Right, so we put a little bit more Yama Bond on this, just because we don't have a gasket for this end. And yeah, it's gonna be like that. Sweet, we'll get our pipe, just kind of route it all nice and go yeah. right in there. And we're Dang. driving there, we'll see if this thing makes boost. Yeah, Whew, I don't know. <laughs> hey. 30% chance it works? Yeah. Right out the box? 100. 100%, all right, I like that. <laughs> We got the best charge pipe in the game, man. 
Oh, yo, time yeah. to blow our apex seals sky high. Everything is hooked up. Pretty nervous. I guess let's just see if it's looking like we're going to have a miracle today and this thing just fires right up. Mm -hmm. And if it does, then we'll be happy. And if not, we'll troubleshoot. Let's go. Okay. It feels very. Maybe some oil drain down from the turbo. It's very yeah. hard. Oh. Hmm. Oh, we have fuel. We also probably need to prime the Makuni too. Yeah, There's like nothing in the back. Okay, you're gonna crank it and I'll just put my hand over it. And see yeah. if we get any something. Mm -hmm. That'll be a good test of. Hey, we got good vacuum. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's really, like, oh wow. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, so the Yamaban shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. And. Yeah, let's try it. A couple more cranks. I guess. Yeah, I, I think part of it, yeah, it might be too much fuel, or not too much, like, this is a 22 mil and that thing was like a, like, you know, really small. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it, it actually did not run bad. Let's turn the idle down and see if I idle. Yeah, where's the screw? Oh, I didn't right. see the exhaust. It was pretty normal. It had some smoke, so yeah, I, I, I feel like it's safe. Okay, that's good. It's very good. Woo! Dude, it started wow. without starter food or anything. I said 100% chance it would work. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So. So um, we might have, we might need to like get some more play out of our throttle here. Yeah. Okay, are we, does it seem it's, like we're all the way down? I don't know if we're, I think we're a little bit up. Really? Just a tiny bit up. Okay. I think we should try. Is it going down? Dude, way down. Really? Yeah, like actually. <laughs> yeah, with the idle super high. Left, Is it all the way down now? Yeah, I think I need to raise it now. Get it so it starts picking up. All right, I mean, we're right at where it's picking up, so. Cool. Okay. That should help. Definitely. Yeah, guys, this thing starts up way easier than it used to start up stock. It's kind of crazy. Hey, man. So I, I had a feeling the Saks factory had it wrong when they weren't selling these with turbos. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got return now. Yeah. I'm just going to leave it kind of loose so it's nice. Okay. All right, round three. Time to blow up. Here we go. Oh, bro, it iron. Hold on. All right, let me Let's turn it off. I'm gonna turn it up and raise it down, or lower it. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah.
So, yeah, that just worked. <laughs> that I just mean, happened. honestly, like the fuel mixture seemed pretty good. Um, it, very responsive, like even more responsive than it used to be. Like, like I think it's just gonna be faster. I think it's gonna be like basically the same like drivability, but like turbo. Yeah, bro. hitting boost wow. and doing wheelies. <laughs> Oh, well, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> what, guys? This works. Yeah. Straight up, no like, way. yeah. I mean, I guess let's stay tuned for future vids. We got to kind of tuck this stuff up. We got a bigger sprocket back here, so it's we have awesome. a little bit more torque. And if you haven't seen this thing driving, we have a really good video of this thing driving NA. So go check that out. I'll link it up here. But we did it, boys. All right, crew. I mean, I'm kind of speechless. I'm at a loss for words. Um, the good news is I don't have to do much of the talking because look at this thing. Um, I do wish we had a little bit more time. We could have like kind of put the chain on and you know rip, driven it a little bit more or at least kind of put it around the garage. But we got to get back to college. So as you all know, we're college students and during the school year we come back on the weekends. Um, so be sure to stay tuned. Next time we have a chance to come back up here, we're going to be able to put the chain on, make a little exhaust and really get this thing under boost because, you know, I guess we're taking it one hurdle at a time. We start with simply bolting up the turbo, making sure it actually spools, making sure it can stay and hold its own weight. Then the next stage after that was actually just getting this thing to free rev and run through all the intake piping, which seems really easy, but it can actually be really hard when you're actually trying to get a decent air mix, air fuel mixture from where your carb is all the way down to where your intake is on the motor. So we got lucky there. We didn't have any serious vacuum leaks. Um, this thing runs good. Uh, and we got super lucky. The first jet we tried out worked. This thing idles with the main jet. So we might have to mess around with the needle a little bit and stuff. And hopefully we don't have fuel cuts when we're, uh, you know, getting in the boost or when, you know, we lift up the front too much so we lose our fuel pet cock. But <laughs> no, nah, I mean... Anyways, uh, if you all have any recommendations, put them down in the comments. Um, just a little reminder, this thing's going to get a nice um, coat of chrome powder coat. So that's going to be really sweet just seeing this thing come back to life. It looks really good as is, but I think a little bit of chrome will make it real nice. But anyways, long-winded outro. This thing's really cool, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Go Power Sports. And be sure to just stay tuned, and we'll see you next time.